All right. Well, it looks like looks like I got the the hole in the roof covered over just in time. Just in time. This is the next day. This is literally the next day. That's what we ended up with. The hole in the roof is gone. The chimney's gone. Good thing it's snowing. The chimney's in the in the demo. Let's go upstairs and take a look. See what it looks like upstairs. Paul was working a little while after I got the roof covered over. He continued taking the chimney down in from the second level. <clears throat> Anything else you got to say? No? Okay. <laughs> My body hurts, that's for sure. It was hurting from all the standing on that steep pitch, 10, 12 pitch. It hurts. That stuff hurts. Anyways, here we go. Look at that. Chimney, chimney bricks. <laughs> and there's the chimney. And there's the hole. <laughs> Can't probably see. I should have had my flashlight with, but what you're not seeing is the underside of the roof where I fixed it and shingled it just in time. So that's what happened. Today we're going to keep on demolitioning. I'm going to end up... Man, that floor sags a lot. Ay ay ay. Anyways, um... What was I saying? <laughs> Yesterday's work maybe is taking its toll on my brain as well and not just my body. Anyways, tomorrow, or I mean today. <laughs> Anyways, Woo! so here we are. And uh, just a little bit of the rubble left. A few more, a few more wheelbarrow loads out to the dumpster, which is getting full, by the way. Here's what's left of our chimney framing. Uh, some of that angle framing tucked in, in between a couple of studs there. I'll have to get the saws all and snip the nails so I can get that out of there. And then start dropping the, the bricks down from up above. We haven't done that yet. Get rid of the chimney from up there. And then the tedious process of going around and taking care of all the, all the nails that are still sticking out here and there, everywhere. Tons of them all over the place. Nails. Nails and nails and more nails. Over here we had roofing nails holding on a product, uh, some sort of a, a part of fiberboard product. Um, some <clears throat> uh, some people would call it built right. It would be the the, the uh, one of the brands of that, and they plastered over that, which is actually a lot more difficult to pull off the walls than than the traditional lath and plaster. You know the wood the wood strips and plaster. It actually takes a lot more to get it all off. Hence the thousands upon thousands of nails. I'll go around and pull each one out. Pull that one. 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 Then I'll pull that one and then that one and then that one and then that one and that one. Oh yeah, I have to pull all those that are up there. Anyway, so get all that. Okay, dokie. Here we are in this stage of the project. I don't exactly know what the uh, Scandinavian twist is there, but enjoy. So we got, I got one load of bricks down already. This is what we do. We take a piece of sheet rock and we drop it through the hole into the, into the wheelbarrow. And then, see now it's, it's going from Scandinavian into, uh, into like some sort of a, an Italian slant, evidently. <coughs> And then you take the brick, and you drop it in the hole. And you drop it through the hole into the wheelbarrow. Isn't that a neat way to do it? <laughs> okay, you getting tired of it yet? It's pretty good, <clears throat> pretty good, irritating, irritating accent, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, there's another brick, oh, there's another brick, oh, there's another brick. Oh, there's another brick, and there's another brick. <laughs> That's what I'm doing! Okay! I'd say that one's ready for eating, won't you? 
That's good and ripe right there. Okay, got a few things to show you. Who'd have thunk that with the exception of the chimney, uh, which was a goodly amount, but not, not overbearingly massive tonnage of bricks. I mean, it was a good size amount of bricks. Who would have thought that all that, I mean, look at this thing. It's a 20 yard dumpster. <laughs> big, very big. And it's almost full. All that, everything, all that, with the exception of the chimney bricks, came from within the kitchen. From in here. From in here. Just pulling down stuff. All the plaster, all the stuff, the cabinets. And mind you, the, the cabinets <clears throat> weren't hollow and they're not sitting at the bottom of that dumpster um, em empty or hollow. They, they were fully disassembled, just laid in there. I, I made the most efficient use of that dumpster as possible. I packed it in there. I put little sticks everywhere to get it as full as possible. And it is full. Anyways, here's the next interesting thing. <clears throat> Digging around back behind our plumbing here where our kitchen cabinet kind of was. And there's some issues there, I think. <laughs> You can tell that the studs no longer go down to something. Well, what they used to go down to is this. <laughs> Just the remnants of what looks to be this uh, four by six beam of some sort. There's that. The, you can tell here, knots in the tree last longer than the fiber in the tree, than, this, than the actual wood, wood strands, the grain. The knots last longer. Just to keep in mind in case you need to know. <laughs> Alright, what else was I going to show you? Oh yes, the creature. There's the creature. You can see some teeth right there, I think. Let's see if I back up and do the zoom. Does that work better? There's some teeth. Right there, and that looks like its tail coming around from the backside. That's that's the creature. Can you see the creature? The creature is interesting. What is the creature? What is that creature? Pretty interesting. Anyways. So... Uh, next on the list, I think, I think, is uh, checking out that crawl space. Crikey! Let's go in there and take a look, have we? Shall we? All right then. <laughs> 